Welcome back everyone. My name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Django. Now till this point we have added two numbers right and that too with a form and when you click on submit the request goes to the server that's where the processing will happen and you will get the answer and it works right. But the thing is when you talk about this HTTP protocol it has multiple methods to work with. So whenever you send a request or you get a response you are basically using HTTP protocol. Now when you send a request here, by default, you have a method which is get. So basically HTTP has multiple methods, the way we have get, post, put, delete. So here we are focusing on two methods, get and post. Now whenever you want to fetch a resource from a server, so basically let's say uh, when you visit a link, when you say, hey, I want the image, that's a get request because you are expecting something from a server. From a server. But what if you want to send something to the server? Maybe if you're filling a form and then you want to submit your data, that's where you are submitting data. That's why we say post, right? So post is for adding the new data to the server. Get is fetching the data. Again, we have another two, we have put and delete. Put is basically to update the resource or to update the data on the server. And then we have delete and name itself says it's for delete, right? But here, what we should use, get or post. Now technically we are sending data to the server, right? We are passing two numbers. So it should be post, right? But then unfortunately the code which we are using here is for get. But before going ahead, I have to switch to my virtual environment and I have to also start the server because just before the video, I have restarted my machine. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so my server is up and running and now let me just enter some values. So I will say four and let's say if I send five, if I click on submit, the request type which we are using here is get. Now in get what happens is you are actually sending the data on the address bar. So let's say when you search for Novin Reddy, you can see you will get a results, right? But look at the address bar. It says www.google.com slash search and then you pass a query string which is Novin Reddy, right? So basically, when you really want to fetch data, you also have to pass some data to the server. Now, when you search something like this on Google, it's completely fine, right? If someone sees the data in the address bar, because I'm just searching for something. But what if you are sending the username and password from this form? Example here, when I'm sending four and five, it is actually going to the address bar, right? Now, since it is an address bar, it's not secure. We don't want to send our data in the address bar. Imagine your username and password. So to achieve that, we should not be using get, we should be using post. So that's one reason. Second one, maybe you want to send multiple data, not just one or two. Maybe you have the entire form of 10, 20 fields. So you don't want everything to be coming on the address bar. And technically for submitting data, you should always use post. So here, let's not use get, let's use post. But how do you do that? So the first step is go to your form and say, hey, method equal to post. So by doing that, you're saying, hey, I'm not using get because by default, if you're not setting it, it is get. You're saying, hey, I don't want to use get, I want to use post, so just do that. But will this work? Just by saying post, will it work? So let's try, let me just go back to my browser and say refresh here, let's say seven and eight, click on submit. Oh, we got an error. At least in the address bar, you don't have it, right? You don't, we don't have anything in the address bar there. But what's wrong? So it says CSRF verification failed. Now that's weird. So what happens is in the world of internet, we have amazing things, right? We have amazing resources, we have amazing services, and then we have huge amount of user data. Now, yes, we have some valuable stuff online. And the moment you say something is valuable there, we have hackers, we have attackers. And then there are different attacking techniques available. So we have multiple attacking techniques, out of which one is CSRF. So we'll not be talking much about this attack. You can just go to Google and search about CSRF. It's a type of attack. You can just go search about it. Understand it's very important for the web developer to understand this, this type of attack. So to avoid this, what Django says is by default, Django gives you, so if I go to my settings.py, you can see in Django settings, we have a middleware in which one of the middleware is CSView middleware. So it's, it simply says, hey developer, by default, I'm providing you this middleware, please use it. Um, and then in our code, we are not using it. If you can see home.html, we are not using it here. So what can be done? Since it is compulsory for you, let's go back to home.html and here we'll say, hey, I want to use that token here. 
And the way you can do that is by again by using Jinja code. So we'll say curly brackets and then percentage. And here we have to say CSRF token. So that's it. Basically, you're using a token here to send the data. Okay, now let's go back and this time it should work. Say eight and seven, click on submit. Okay, so we got a different error. This time we are not getting that CSRF. Uh, now the, the problem is it says uh, multi-value dictionary key error. The problem is you are using post, but in the code, if you can see in the views.py, we are using get. So we should be using post here, not get. So we got post, save this file, go back here and it should work now. Say submit and it works. And see the address bar. We are not sending data in the address bar. So basically we, it is done with the help of cookies. Uh, so we, we don't say anything in the address bar. So that's how you can use post. So basically when you want, you want to fetch data, always use get. When you want to submit data, always use post. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.